Hey everyone, Boises here, and today I'll be guiding you on how to play Soraka Reroll. Let's do this. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, this is the how the final comb should look like at level 8. And basically, you're just trying to freestyle your entire board. Uh, except I have an armor dinger. That's basically the goal of this comp. Um, yeah, it's a lot of 2 and 3 costs, uh, which are mainly the renewers. Uh, you have, of course, Dawnbringer uh, for the Soraka, and you have basically Aria being the main tank and secondary carry, actually, you will see. Aria 3 is insane. Um, she will wear the tank items. If you can have uh, Radiant BT or BT or so on her uh, with the Skirmish River, she would also hurt a lot. Okay. Uh, there is not much more to say about this, uh, before fighting the Amardinger, it's going to be Vlad, uh, and if you do not have the Amardinger 8, I recommend having Revenant, Volibear will be best, Fiddlesticks is great. Uh, so something like this, uh, really, really strong. Now, in terms of best in slot, I believe Shojin is definitely the best in slot. And then it really depends. You can go full crit, uh, it's just more maximum amount of damage. You can go for double Archangel, you can go Rabadon, you can go and have Justice. As long as it is AP damage, uh, you should be fine. Uh, core is definitely Shojin though. Tank key items plus BT on the Aurelia. If you do have more like Aurelia uh, buffs or debuffs, I should say, like Frozen R, Sunfire, Yandex Spark, it will go to both the Cannon and the Pike on the opposite side of each other, so it applies to the whole map. Uh, the attack speed item will go on the Nidalee. Uh, if you do have leftover tank key items, I recommend having it on the Rakan. A frozen heart is great on him as well. Um, but yeah, the goal of this comp is basically you go to level 6. Uh, you try to freestar the Soraka, the Pike, the Aralia, the Cannon. Uh, it doesn't have to be specifically Cannon, just one skirmisher. If you need the Ironclad later and you get the Jax, that works great too. Uh, just Cannon is a 2 cost, so it, would, it should be easier for you to hit your Soraka. Once you have that, you go to level 7, you first start the Nidali, you first start a Rakan, you go to level 8. Uh, hopefully, you find the Armordinger for the 4th Renewer, you place it like so, and an additional frontline here. Uh, preferably a Revenant, Fiddlesticks, or Volibear being best. But yeah, that's basically the comp. Now, there are other. Uh, variations and we can talk about the very very late game how it should look like it will look like something like this where you will still have maybe this kind of soraka uh, three star uh, you will have something like this uh no one more for example this already are right here three star you will have the rakan three star maybe with another Archangel and this is probably the capped board right here with Revenant. Revenant is the best run line that you can play in the late game right now so it should not be a brainer you need to play Revenant for any words is the best if you can go to six of course go for it but it is a high roll uh, you have two mystics if you do need mystics and again there is more going to be Hammer Dangers, Timos, stuff like that, Gwen Eden uh, so, uh, Mystics being fit here, otherwise you can just go for Ironclad. This is just another version of the comp. <clears throat> as far as item orders, I mean, you're supposed to get Soraka pretty early if you're costing playing this comp anyway. So I just including the 1 and 2 cost, just basically Soraka waiting room. Uh, those are the best in terms of mana and AP items uh, that are 1 and 2 costs. Uh, this into Dumbringers, these two in Abomination, Aliens or Redeemed, whichever one you hit. 
Now we can talk about an example of how a game should look like. Um, so this is, for example, you got the Soraka, you level to 4, you play her, you already have the Vladimir, which is great, and you have whatever frontline, in this case, you got Knight. Okay, so at this point you need to focus on two things. Um, the items for Soraka, it doesn't have to be the full crit, it can be Archangel or anything else. And the tanky items for the Aurelia. Uh, so for example, the War Mogs can definitely go here. Uh, if you go to uh, level 5 here, yeah, there is not much that you can do. I would suggest to have the Dumbbringer if you can. Gragas is a fantastic frontline unit that will be subbed later for Nidalee. Uh, after that, uh, I like having the Sidrani just because it gives you both Nightbringer and Brawler and you have a really strong frontline with two good damage healers. And then comes level 6. And then level 6, uh, you're going to basically get rid of this, this, right here, bye bye. And it's going to be Aurelia, Pike, Cannon. Uh, those will be the main ones right here one two three four five uh there is one more it will, it will be the needle there you go you're basically gonna look for this board and once you do have this board you stop rolling and you try to basically free star as much as you can uh, that's basically the idea the tanky items will go here now the warm hogs there you go basically like on the carim if you think about it, attack speed item, if you do have, will go here. Uh, and the AP items will go here. Any area items like Morello, Sunfire. Uh, Morello here is fantastic. If you do get a Sunfire on Pike, it is insane. Uh, so is Frozen Heart, by the way. Right here. Now, as far as Radiant items, uh, Definitely the Archangel is fantastic, Drew Gauntlet, uh, Photos Rocker are all the best. Rabadon is okay, Shojin definitely not worth it in my opinion. Uh, but those two are fantastic for sure. Uh, the rest it will be basically going to the Aurelia, either Tanky or the uh, BT, uh, basically. So how about, I don't know, Trapclaw. Trapclaw would work here, she would get more stats. Um, and that's basically the board. Uh, you just three star everything here. Once you do go to level seven, you're gonna go uh, with Rakan and hopefully you're gonna hit the Ivern. At this point, it's probably uh, saying goodbye to Sentinel instead and have the foreign newer. Um, I think would be more important for your Soraka. And you three star the Nidali, the Rakan. You go to level 8 and you play this board plus one legendary. That's basically the comp, guys. Let me know if you do have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.